Hello, the helpful sweet here again. Today we're gonna take a look at the new Ring Spotlight Cam. I just got it in the mail and uh, it's time for an unboxing. I just gotta get my big knife. Hold on a second. Let's see here, it's kind of a big package for what I expect is inside. So, and there we go. And there you have it. The new Ring Spotlight Cam. As you can see, you control it with the regular Ring app that you can download, and uh, this is the uh, HD 1080 video support with uh, two-way audio and as you can see there's a LED light on both sides of the camera so um, let's see if we can crack this one open and uh, as you can see uh, I have the uh, the wired version that you plug into wall there's a solar and a battery version as well so let's see this is quite hard to get out. Yeah, ah, I missed the spot. Sorry, bear with me. I guess there's one at the bottom as well. Yeah. There we go. So there we there we have it. Nice, nice package. Uh, I say, let's see what's inside. So, there we have the black version of the Ring Spotlight Cam. There's also a white, uh, a white version, uh, but this one goes better with with my wall. And there's a screw for securing the camera once it mounted on the wall. Let's put it aside and try to get this off. This is very hard to get off the camera for some reason. Yeah, there we go. Throw that away. And there's, there's the camera. With the two LED lights, the speaker, And uh, on the bottom you have the li uh, light sensor. And here uh, in the back you see the pig, uh, taps for the wall mount. There's some more packaging. And here's the cable. It's a 30 foot cable. And as you can see it's paintable. So you can match, match your wall paint. And uh, the American standard plug. I of course live in Sweden so I have to use a converter. Here's the install kit, we'll take a look at that later. I expect some screws and other stuff. And uh, here we have a ring protected by ring sticker and the manual. Let's see, we can look at that later. So here we have the cam and the cable. And uh, as you can see in the front, we have the big, the big lens and uh, some kind of sensors on top. I think there are IR sensors on top and there's a microphone. Uh, there's a speaker in front and there's two bright LED lights. and. Uh, the motion sensor in the bottom. Uh, the mount, uh, you can mount and swivel it any way you like. And there's supposed to be, you're supposed to twist the bottom to release it in some way. I have to find that out. But there we have it. So now I have looked up how to do this. It's kind of hard. 
you have to really get in there and it's kind of hard to get a grip and it's you have to use a bit of muscle power but once yeah that how you get it open there's the three connectors for the camera uh, and these pins are spring loaded as you can see so they make a tight fit into the mountain bracket and uh, the bottom of the mountain bracket looks like this so you can see you can you twist it in and then secure it with a screw so let's take a look at the install kit box and uh, let's see what we got here here we have some what looked like mounting screws for the cable the standard ring screwdriver and those of you have, who have mounted ring products before know that there's the secure bit at the other end of the screw that you can use to fasten the secure screw and let's see what we got else here we have a drill bit if you have a it's a stone wall to mount it in. I have a wooden house, so I don't need that. And there's some plugs and screws for mounting. And what do we have else? We have a mounting plate for the wall with a convenient lever in the middle. That's very nice and handy. The same as the ring doorbell, of course. And another secure screw so let's uh, have a look at how bright this lamp gets when you plug it in as you can see I have to use my adapter for European plugs these are very bright LED lights as you can see my camera cannot really cope and um, the first time you plug it in and it is set up. You have to wait for a few seconds and then we're supposed to get some instructions. Say hello to Ring. Follow the instructions in the Ring app to continue. So it's time for me to set this up and show you guys how it looks. As you can see, this is how the image quality is in broad daylight. The cam is mounted in the shadows uh, in the back of my house and I think there's a lot of good detail in this picture and uh, the motion sensing is, is very good. This is taken at 9 in the evening and uh, as you can see there's not much detail in this black and white picture but no one expected that anyway. And I will go ahead and turn on the lights so you can see the difference. And that's how it looks when the LEDs are on. I'm going to test this camera out during this coming week and uh, you can expect a full review soon. Bye bye.